The devastation from the historic and deadly floods in Louisiana is only getting worse. Today, state and federal officials toured hard hit areas in the southern part of the state. 30,000 people have already been rescued, 40,000 homes impacted, and thousands more at risk. Those rising waters have sparked more damage and more evacuations near Baton Rouge. The death toll tonight stands at 13 as the floodwaters head south. I want to stress that we are certainly not out of the woods. And as I've been saying for six days now, this is an ongoing event. We actually lost everything in Katrina, came here, and 10 years later lost everything again. President Barack Obama is getting daily updates on the federal government response. The White House says the president does not plan to cut his vacation short to visit Louisiana because it would cause a disruption in the recovery efforts there. Nearly 90,000 people have already registered for federal help. And meanwhile, out west, the weather is not helping firefighters contain the 29 wildfires that are now burning. The blue cut fire is still out of control and growing closer to homes there. It's charred over 31,000 acres so far. But there is some good news tonight. The Clayton fire is slowing down. About 4,000 people in that area are now able to return home. Take a look at this. Warnings and advisories still exist across the West Coast. Oh, while kids are getting ready to go back to school, parents are likely wondering about their safety. Tonight, how Austin police are preparing for the traffic and the rush of the first day of school. Today was the warmest afternoon since Saturday, but still nine degrees below average for this time of the year. Just a couple of peaks of sunshine. Let me show you the almanac at 89 at Bergstrom, 88 at Camp Mabry. Warmer, drier tomorrow, then heavy downpours return for the weekend.